When we'd go to the movies, it was the joy of the family. We'd all get together in the van and then travel on to the show. We'd all be together in the movies. They were just so fascinated with the beautiful screen. One theater in particular that we loved was the Almost Theater. It was a revival theater. They would play a lot of old movies that you would never get a chance to see, even on television. I remember one time in particular, Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca was showing as a double feature with Spellbound, and that's what made me want to be a filmmaker. I wanted to create dream imagery after that myself, something you never would have been exposed to on a big screen if it wasn't for that theater showing those classics. Probably the first time I saw Singing in the Rain in Almost Theater, and that definitely inspired me to be a dancer. My dad did, was a traveling salesman, and he was gone six days out of the week, and my mom would say he made enough money for us to go to Whataburger and the movies. I grew up thinking he had ESP, because we'd be in the theater, and he would show up on the day that he would get home. And we'd go, how did you know we were here? But there was only one place we would be if we weren't at home, and it would be at the Almost Theater. <laughs> Aside from Almost Theater, we would go to the drive-in. We had a large Dodge van, it was a 15-passenger van, and there was several of us that would get on the top of the van, and that's where we watched Clash of the Titans. And Clash of the Titans was epic for us. We were very lucky to grow up at that time when that was the biggest thing. There was no internet, there was no multi-channel television, there were no VCRs. It was about the theater and seeing movies that were some of them were 30, 40 years old. I can't think of any experience in our family life that caused as much joy as us all going together to the movie and sharing afterwards what we had experienced. It was really wonderful. <laughs>